Hello and welcome to Business English Paris. Today the word of the day is bills. In French I think bills is facture. Uh, I'm not sure what it is in your language if uh, if you're not French or, or Anglophone. However, I think we all incur bills each month no matter where we live and what our jobs are. And I guess if we were having a conversation, uh, you and I, uh, about professional English or or even, you know, our lives in general, I might ask you something about that, you know, like, for example, during the coronavirus pandemic when the world was sort of on its knees and topsy-turvy how much did you worry about your monthly bills is it something that kept you up at night or did you feel that everything would have resolved itself anyway because you were in a job that was very secure or were you more of an independent worker who was really worried about you know making ends meet and and paying all your bills whether it's uh things having to do with your personal life like your rent or your utilities or your child care or whether it was more professional like your continuing education or i don't know your your insurances or well, practice insurance or other types of insurance that in theory are expenses but in fact they're really bills I mean they're things that you, you sort of have to pay you know with some regularity um, even though you may not receive a, a, digi a, a, a physical um, a physical what's the word I'm looking for a physical invoice you know you may not receive a physical invoice but in fact because typically with bills, you, you get an invoice or you send an invoice, depending on the situation. Someone sends you an invoice, you have to pay that person, or you send someone else an invoice and they have to pay you. With some of these um, things I've outlined, like your rent, for example, you don't typically get an invoice, uh, you know, but it's still technically a bill, you know, because it could be digitally understood that you've got to, like, send a certain amount every every month to your your landlord um so with the word of the day being bills today i guess that's sort of what i wanted to to have you discuss with me today is you know if you can think back to the period during the coronavirus and you were i, I assume uh working professional at that time how much did you worry about paying your bills? How much did your employer assist you with paying bills during this time? You know, what sorts of uh, mechanisms were put in place for people who had difficulties with paying bills, with, you know, meeting their monthly, uh, you know, their monthly... Um, our duties in terms of uh, expenses and um, you know how protected did you feel as a as a person working for a particular company and an organization um, in terms of your bills I mean was it something that kept you up at night were you worried like oh my gosh as this situation goes on I'm not sure how I'm going to uh, be able to continue to pay my bills or were you always kind of just secure in the knowledge that your bills were going to be paid no matter what um, which in, if that was the case you know <laughs> good for you anyway so this is a short video it's uh, the weekend um, I want to go off into my little uh, my little uh, sanctuary and do some quiet reading but I wanted to quickly just throw this uh, video up because I think I did that word yesterday, bills, and I thought, okay, you have to do a video to, to accompany it. So that's it for this one. See you in the next one. If you would like to uh, talk about possibly doing a telephonic class, 
with me or in conversation or even something more in depth um, whether it's business or legal English do contact me uh, my contact details are on my my blog or send an email to business English Paris elg at gmail.com okay so let's talk in the next one <laughs> Bye. Have a great, have a great day.